welcome back to another video day 14 of 15 vlogs that i'm doing in december we are almost at the end and i'm starting off today's video with a hair tutorial because i've been getting some questions on how i do my little everyday curls i actually just filmed a tutorial for tiktok on my everyday makeup this is what i've been wearing every single day and i have a theory that my skin is better when i wear makeup consistently because i'm not touching my face it's protected from pollution and elements and stuff like that so if you want to go see that tutorial it'll be on tiktok but i actually just posted a hair care routine on instagram and a lot of the questions were about how i get my everyday waves so starts off with heat protected as it always should i'm using the chi 44 iron guard i found this in the checkout section at marshall's i was out of heat protectant so i just bought this because it was barbie branded i did used to use this in high school and college let me peel off my little marshall's tag while i'm thinking of it but i also like the bond boost heat protectant i use the tresemme one for a really long time basically just get a heat protectant and start using it if you're not already oh go figure like now i wish i would have just kept the sticker i like to let the heat protectant dry especially when it's like a wet spray i have one from i think it's igk and it's like a dry spray almost like a hairspray i really like that one because you can start styling your hair immediately but it just doesn't feel right while the strands are wet even though it's wet with heat protectant it just doesn't feel right to put heat on this right now so i'll spray it let it sit heat up my curling iron i have a t3 and i freaking love it i love all t3 hair products I think this one is like 1.25 inches they have one that you can like swap out the barrels to which in hindsight that's one i would probably buy if you're investing in a t3 curling iron because it comes with this size and it comes with two others i believe but this is just the one that they sell as a standalone iron i don't use the clamp for my everyday little waves so i literally just use this as a wand but i'll brush out the heat protectant make sure it's all in there and then we'll get started. I split my hair down the middle so it's like all in front right now. So this is all my hair. I will start at like the back of the section and just grab a piece. I don't really know how to show you how much I'm grabbing because obviously like hair thickness and stuff is gonna differ, but I don't grab small pieces, but I also don't grab one. That's not helpful. Anyways, just kind of read the room. I hold my curling iron upside down. I just wrap it around obviously and then i like to leave the ends out so i will just hold the end out straight like this this look isn't for everyone but i will say if you're trying to grow out your hair or you have long hair and you're trying not to fry the ends i like doing this because it spares the very ends of my hair from the heat so i hold it for as long as it took me to say that sentence and then i let it drop and you can kind of give it like a little yank and trust the process we're gonna do the whole head and then you'll see so again i just start from the very back of each section and then i'll throw it over my shoulder when i'm done with that piece to keep it all separated leave the end out a little bit hold it there you can also change the temperature of the wand or of the curling iron that probably plays a factor to how long you should hold it boom oh that's a good one so this is how it looks right after i finish i haven't finger combed through or anything because honestly you don't want to touch and play with the hair too much while it's still warm because it's obviously like the shape and everything is very impressionable right now so you don't want to mess anything up this side is the side that I did first, so it's cooler than this side of my head. Um, sometimes I'll go back in with these top pieces and add a couple more curls, or I should say redo the curl, to be like way tighter to my scalp to add some more volume, but only to the top pieces. And I don't do this all the time. But you'll see what I mean once again. Like see how that just added a curl like closer to the base? I like the way that looks. So I'll go back through after the majority of the curls are done. And just add a tiny bit more volume and curl towards the root for a couple pieces that sit on top. You can kind of see what that did. Hopefully a little bit. I didn't specify this but I curl the pieces away from my face. Which you probably noticed me doing. And I curl all of them away from my face. Depending on what side of the head the piece of hair is on. Now for hairspray. I don't love hairspray. I'm not a huge hairspray gal, but I have the tried and true L-Net, which this I'll use if I really want the curls themselves to stay, which obviously I do, but they stay pretty well on their own. So I'll do a little blast of this and then I finger comb through everything, assuming it's cool. And the last step is texturizing spray. My hairdresser started using this on me and I'm obsessed. I don't even know if I'm using it correctly, but I just do what I saw her do. At least I think I saw her do. I got the Beach Club IGK volume texturizing spray. I just will lift up little sections of my hair and kind of spray it 
in there. This stuff also smells delicious. Can you see the difference? Maybe there is no difference. I just like it. And that is my everyday wave routine. My outfit of the day featuring my big fat cold brew is this little wrestling singlet from, I don't even know if you can see me. I need to find a better like outfit spot. But this is like one of those one piece things from Gilly Hick. And the sweatshirt is actually from Gilly Hicks too. It's just a gray zip up. Put on some gold jewelry. My Clara necklace from Ardua, A-R-D-U-A. And this four leaf clover necklace from Electric Picks. I got it in the mail yesterday if you saw that vlog. I'm gonna get some work done and then I think I'm gonna go shopping today. We'll see how the day shapes up, but I do need an outfit for this weekend and I, it's Tuesday. So I should start looking now so I don't panic on Thursday. I'm so upset. I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it. Okay, it's okay. Oh, at least the straw didn't break. Don't you dare come over here. Oh my gosh, she would. She would drink coffee off the floor. Order up. Who got the floor coffee? Freaking disgusting. try this again shall we i mean honestly did i learn my lesson because this is precariously close to the edge of the counter but i'll be more careful this time and by the way that was the bissell cross wave hydro steam that i use on the floors it's a wet dry vac so it's like mopping and sucking up at the same time so it's good for spills but i also just use it on my floors during the week and on the chair i use the little green hydro steam if you're curious because i feel like i'll get questions about that after i edit those clips oh my gosh it turns out the doorbell that i was ignoring was flowers sheesh i think i've gotten flowers a total of like five times in my life and two of them have been on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Peonies? Why do people never answer me? They're from Miss Mary and I think I'm gonna put them in the bathroom because this bouquet is looking rather dead. I was just looking at it this morning thinking I should swap it out. Gorge. Oops. I need more tissues. Need to fold my towels, but that can wait. Well, 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 as a surprise to no one, Polly peed on the bed again today. I mean, it was a surprise because she, this is like a new habit out of nowhere, but I put up this little barrier thing. This will go up during the day for the next couple weeks to discourage her from jumping up there. I got this on Amazon. If this is of use to anyone else, I can add it to my storefront, but you just clip all the little blocks together and you could put this around the base of like furniture and stuff too, I guess, if you have like a puppy or kids or something, but this is my attempt to break her of this habit that she's gotten into it's okay i forgive you it's about lunch time now though so i'm gonna start on lunch i'm gonna have what i had for dinner last night actually which was a chicken kebab like slovaki i think is what it was called it's like a mediterranean thing and i just got some pita so i'm gonna have maybe like a little pita pocket just whipping up a little of that salad mixture and then making some tzatziki and if you're wondering wow clara i thought you made a big old batch of this last night why are you making it all again that would be because i'm an idiot and left it sitting out all night on the counter so since i don't want to be sick with food poisoning i'm making it again thankfully i have all the ingredients so nothing major also cracked open a celsius instead of pita pockets i decided to make a little deconstructed pita plate and i found some hummus sitting in the fridge too so same thing as last night just added the naan and i steamed it in the microwave in a wet paper towel and then i just brushed on some melted butter mixed with pepper and garlic powder so here's how i'm using those leftovers Drove over to Mount Pleasant, mainly because I want to go to the TJ Maxx and Marshalls over here. I've been to the one on West Ashley recently and I didn't find much, but there's this place, Megan Moulton. It's an interior designer that has a storefront. And anyways, it's been all over my feed. I want to go see what I can find. I think I'll be able to find some cool, unique gifts because I still have a couple people on my list that I need to grab some things for. So that's where I'm at right now. Hopefully it's as cool as it looks online. Table. 
obsessed with the art here. Wow, I wish I had come here before I essentially furnished my entire house. So freaking gorgeous in there. Wish I knew about that store like three weeks ago. But on the bright side, I am finally getting a dresser that's hopefully gonna be delivered next week. So I'll want a couple of things to style the top of that. So maybe that'll give me a reason to go back and actually get something there. All right, now off to TJ Maxx, Marshalls. You know the drill. I'm not really shopping for anything in particular, but I do have a gift basket in the works for a friend that I need a couple more fillers for. So I'm gonna add these dishcloths and some of these cork trivets. I think that's a good addition because everyone could use stuff like that. I think I'm gonna get these for myself because I have some wooden utensils that could definitely stand to be retired. What is this? That is really cool. Not for me, but they've had really good art lately. I like that. Wow, nice couch. And another one. Wow, $1,500 for this whole sectional. Look at this rope lamp that's kind of tucked away back here. But honestly, in the right house and right decor, that's going to look really good. Unfortunately, I don't think that's my house, but I think that could look really expensive. Love these pillows. Nowhere for them, but those are gorge. And they have so many good quilts right now. Wow. Having some guests next week, and I don't think I have enough towels for everyone. I have like a guest set of towels already, but it's two bath and then like two of everything else. It's like for two people. So I think I'm going to get another set of guest towels. And these feel really nice. These are brooks brothers hopefully they hold up well or they have other colors maybe i'll get white I'm actually gonna swap them for these white tommy bahama ones they're better priced and all my towels are white so they could also be like my towels in my bathroom when guests aren't here. obsessed with this bouquet set wow just found these two coffee table books one's this, this is the dig voltaire which is like a designer brand i know at least i think it is and then this one is like all these paparazzi photos how sick is that and i love the pop of red moving on to the Marshall side of things. Oh, little Abercrombie jacket. Don't mind if I do. It's looking a little too acid wash. Like I wish, I like the fit. I just wish the wash itself was different. So I think I'll leave it behind. I feel like there's another store that I wanted to go to here besides Marshall's Home Goods CJ Maxx while I'm over in Mount Pleasant, but I can't think of it. I guess I'm just gonna go home now. Oh, I thought of it, Old Navy. All right, I do wanna pop over to Old Navy. Thank goodness I said that out loud because that like triggered a memory. Home now, looking at my books. I didn't find anything at Old Navy. I did go over there, but nothing noteworthy. I wanted to flip through this book. Wow, this might actually be one that's an interesting read. I wonder what's in this one. This one is mainly photos. This one would probably look really cool on a stand like held open honestly to this page it's like a backstage picture at a fashion show yeah maybe i'll get a book stand for this a lot of the times you can find books on marshalls.com if you wanted to look for these love that starting on dinner making this easy skillet sour cream enchilada recipe from define dish i've made this so many times before it's so easy i already mixed up the chicken filling mixture which is just a rotisserie chicken some sour cream different spices pretty simple and then you just have to assemble the enchiladas she tells you to use siete tortillas i guess you could use different ones but i honestly like the way it tastes with the grain-free ones so i'm using almond flour today and then this is the salsa verde like green enchilada sauce that i'm going to use because this is what they had at whole foods so really Really quick and easy and i like doing this for leftovers but i won't actually assemble the leftovers i'll keep it separate and then assemble the next day it's kind of like leftovers but then also freshly baked do you notice anything different i ordered pajamas they came today I ordered them whatever vlog it was that I complained about not having like family friendly comfortable pajamas Mainly my issue is because I film like sometimes in the mornings at night Like I hate putting on pajamas and then like, you know, not even wanting to walk in front of a window Because I feel like some pajamas even if they're not, you know, like supposed to be a little revealing They just are like the shorts are always so short Most of you already heard that rant anyway, so I'll spare you from that But I did find some on cotton on I wasn't gonna say where I got them because I feel like I should wash them a couple times and see how they hold up before i just like go out there with a recommendation but order at your own risk i'm still obviously trying them out but i got this little set you can't really see they're shorts and then little top i got a little padded bralette to wear underneath the top thank goodness i did because it's clearly very see-through wouldn't care unless i was obviously filming or you know answering the door or something this is what it looks like i like this little top i would probably wear this just as like a daytime top it's got the little snaps came in a couple colors pricing was 
wasn't horrible. According to the tags, each piece was $35. So what is that? 70 to oh gosh, that doesn't sound good when you add it up. But I feel like Cotton On is a brand that has like site-wide sales. So I will definitely keep an eye on that. I have some from Amazon coming soon, but I like these. This is a fun little set and it feels more like actual clothing material. You know, it feels like this is meant to be worn during the daytime too, or at least could be. So I think it will last well. I hope it will. The only thing that I get concerned about with necklines like these is sometimes right here it will start to rip if there's too much stress on it, but I'll keep an eye on that. I feel like every shirt that I've ever had with a neckline like this has gotten little holes right here pretty, pretty soon after I got it, but little bralette things from Cotton On too. It's nothing special. Totally could have gotten this on Amazon. Probably should have, but I already ripped the tags off of it. I'm a fan so far. I got another set that's like a rollover pair of pants with a little gray tank top. That's going to be super cute, but I wanted to wear this one tonight. It is 10 o'clock for reference. Oh, wait. My cup matches my outfit now, too. Just going to do my nighttime skincare routine, which is like three products these days, and then go to bed. Not a crazy day. Oh, I just remembered something I was supposed to do today. Oh. I will do tomorrow. Once my skin clears up, because I've gone like through roller coasters with my skin before, but once it clears up and there's not like a ton of active acne, I like to prioritize niacinamide in my routines, which obviously you can still do while you have acne. I think it does have acne positive benefits, but I would rather prioritize like stronger actives than this. Since my skin seems to be clear right now, I used this 10% niacinamide night mask from pharmacy last night and again tonight. Obviously, it's just like a thick overnight mask. It's a glorified moisturizer, let's be honest, but I really like it. I love anything and everything pharmacy. The pharmacy honey halo, the pharmacy green clean pharmacy is just similar to Shiseido. It's just one of those brands that honestly like anything they come out with is probably gonna hit it out of the park. Taking advantage of having no acne and actually targeting other skin concerns because I'm usually just focused on the acne portion of it. So lathering this up, gotta pin back my hair and put some dry shampoo into. I will say I hate the feeling of like a super thick moisturizer, especially like, I don't know why I just said that, like put it over my upper lip. I feel like that makes me feel like I'm sweating. Like I feel kind of claustrophobic. I'm trying to remember if I did my advent calendar today. I don't know, I have the memory of a goldfish. Off to bed. Thank you for watching another one of my vlogs. This is day 14, so tomorrow is our last day of my 15 days of December. Not my last YouTube video by any means, but my last daily vlog for a little while. Maybe I'll do these little vlog spurts somewhat regularly, but thank you so much for watching thus far. Subscribe if you haven't already and go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll definitely give more like pajama updates probably on my Instagram stories. So if that's something that you're curious in, go to Instagram and stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll do a TikTok on it too. I can't be the only one looking for like different types of pajamas than what seems like everyone wants. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one.